Right, this is gonna change the way I do music. This is the Electron Model Cycles and it's absolutely brilliant. It's basically a fully fledged groove box so you can make entire songs on it if you really want or at least multiple patterns. But the difference with this is it's based exclusively on FM. So you get those amazing crunchy sounds. The bass sounds are just incredible. Check this out. Whoa. Anyway, let's have a play. Right, here we go then guys. The box of tricks. So I can't help thinking it looks a little bit like some kind of medical equipment I've seen at some point in my life in a hospital. I don't know, don't know why. But anyway, what you've got here is your six tracks. So these can actually obviously hold different sounds um, that you're using. So presets, this is mainly preset driven. So you kind of, you know, you go into a preset and you load it into one of these um, locations but load it into a track and then you can warp it and do all sorts of other stuff by using these all these different parameters and that's designed to be sort of done on the fly so they've made it super easy no menu digging to get the sounds that you kind of want you know you can twist it around now you know on the surface it looks quite limited because you haven't got you know dozens and dozens of kind of programmable options um, for the sounds but it's actually very very powerful and I'll, I'll try to sort of show you why in this um, in this video but basically I said you can load one sound on each one of these tracks but what you can actually do is you can use a thing called parameter locks and you can say so even even if you've got a kick on there on that track one you can actually program in different sounds in between those so you could actually use it like a bit like an old school tracker you could actually kind of put a kick there you know a hi-hat there a hi-hat there a hi-hat there and just kind of have multiple sounds on one track which is pretty interesting because it actually expands the possibilities it's quite a lot um, and that's really easy to do as well so yeah this is very straightforward to use um, I've had this not very very long at all and I'll tell you I mean it's changing the way I'm kind of doing things because I've not really used Electron stuff before and I really delved, wanted to delve into this because um, of the sequencer everyone's talking about the sequencer being fantastic and I'll tell you what it is game changing actually um, if you've not used anything like this before, I've used obviously Electribes and built-in sequencers on other synths. This is fantastic. And it will actually work over MIDI as well. So you could actually um, plug in other instruments into this. But the only problem with that is that it's monophonic. So you wouldn't be able to kind of program in um, chords for this to hold, which is a bit of a downside, but you can get around it. There is actually a chord function, which, um, you know, it actually uses paraphonic I think that's, that's the word. So it's like a synth creating with multiple oscillators that create, you know, your chords, which is quite powerful. Now, I wondered if they could actually have a system where you could, um, you know, plug in a MIDI keyboard, play a chord, and then it would identify that chord and turn it into like a kind of, you know, paraphonic style chord. I, I assume that's probably possible, but um, it doesn't do that on this anyway. So if you want to play chords, you can just basically program them in. Um, <laughs> You know, with this particular thing, you've got, you can see this on the screen here, but you've basically got different chords, you know, sus2, minor, major, and all that. And you can parameter lock those as well. So if you look at what I've programmed in here, different one there. So, you know, that's how you, that's how you do it. So this, this is something I've just knocked up quite quickly. And actually, I, I had this going within... I don't know, like five to ten minutes. I originally just put this in my home office and I didn't plug it into any monitors. I just listened on, on headphones. But I tell you what, as soon as you plug it into monitors, you realise how big the sound this on this thing actually is. It is, yeah, it's pretty mind-blowing, actually, that such a big sound. A big sound comes out of a small box. Of course it can. But it's incredible what they've done. There's something else going on here, I think. Other people have heard talk about this. Um, anyway, so I don't... What I'm going to try and do is kind of talk a bit and then have a little jam and then talk a bit because those of you that I know some of you follow my channel your audio files as well like you love your sound and all that sort of stuff so I'll, I'll let you kind of you know crank it up and then you won't get me just like all of a sudden just going rah, 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 over the top of it so this is something I've just messed around with um, and I've, I've made probably six different patterns very very quickly that I'll probably use for my videos to be honest because they're actually yeah, they're half decent. This one's called Scrap. I really like this one. Just a second, let's talk about this reverb on this one as well. Reverb's really, really nice on this um, this instrument. I mean, for the price point as well, check this out. Infinity. 
fantastic. Be amazing for sort of some kind of ambient stuff. You could do so much with this. So let's get on with this one then.
there you go. That was me just messing around. Just, you know, I'm still getting to grips with this thing. But, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to play around and, and get all the, you know, the sounds. What you notice there is me using, like, a control all um, effect. So if you hold this button down here and turn one of the parameters, it affects everything. Like, all six tracks, which is crazy. You can get some weird effects going on, um, especially with some of this kind of contour and sweep. You know, you can really mess things around, mess things up royally. And then what you'd see as well is me basically just reloading the pattern. And this is incredible how this does this. It just loads it so quick. So if you mess things right up, you can basically just hold down function, reload pattern, and it reloads it. So it reloads it from the last saved point. So you can do that on the fly, on the beat as well, which is madness. But that's that's really cool. So yeah, that's one of them. That's one of the tracks, um, one of the little things I've been messing around with. Um, if you go into projects here, you can see some of the other things I've got going on here. Um, this was something else. The great thing about this is the way the um, file system and everything handles your saving and your load and everything. It, it's, it's very, very intuitive. It's not like, you know, some of the other systems like the Electribe or all these other things. This is more like a computer where it will ask you if you want to um, save things before you leave that project, which... You know, you need that stuff. This is all kind of real, really well thought out stuff. So it's saying, do you want, do you want to save that? Be careful if you do this and you end up getting in a right mess with all your parameters and then you say, yeah, save it. It'll obviously save save your messed up version. So um, yeah, be, be wary of that if you're going to use one of these because I've had this situation before where I've gone in and I've mucked up one of the patterns completely. But it's pretty easy to unravel because there's a lot of other features like you can copy patterns, paste them, I'm not found out how to copy parts yet. I don't know if there's, um, if anyone knows, let me know. But um, I think you might be able to do it on the other uh, electron thing, but um, the model samples. But I don't think you, I'm not sure if you can do it on this. Anyway, so save that. That saves the um, the last project and it's loaded to the new one. And this is just another little thing I was trying to do. Something a little bit more melodic. Yeah, so <laughs> you can get carried away quite quickly, but I think this is the only pattern I did on this one um, and all that. So patterns you just change by just pushing that and then selecting the pattern that you want. Basically, it's pretty self-explanatory. Things like maybe you want to change the pattern size really quickly. You're going to want to do that a lot. You know, this is this is basically one of the main things you're going to want to do. And that's just done just by hitting, you know, two buttons, hold down the function, push the page, and then you've got your pattern there mode pattern length 64 and then you can adjust the pattern lengths and everything else like that and it will copy if you've got a shorter pattern it will just copy um the steps you know to the next um page which is pretty useful you know standards kind of sequence of stuff but nevertheless works really really well and yeah it's just a joy to use like the sequencer is just is really fantastic this is actually weird 
because it's actually chromatic so you know if you want to play like a, a major it's not like a keyboard basically so you have to work around but you know if you if you're a musician or whatever you should have no problem learning that very very quickly uh so yeah let's delve into another pattern then got this one rip r and we don't i don't want to save that just in case <laughs> i've definitely messed things up there uh, any changes will be lost so this one's something else Right, let's move on to this last project. This is a little kind of, um, I don't know, housey thing. <laughs> 